How much plastic are you really eating and drinking? The answer might shock you. Microplastics are tiny plastic particles and they come from water bottles, air pollution, and even packaging. A 2022 study published in the Environment International revealed that 77% of participants had microplastics in their blood. Chemicals like BPA and phthalates in plastics are endocrine disruptors. These are linked to infertility, hormone imbalances, and developmental issues. These harmful additives are classified as human carcinogens, which are cancer causing. You can get microplastic exposure just through your personal skin products, even shampoos. These often contain microbeads or phthalates that directly are absorbed through your skin on application. Even household plastics release VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds. And these reduce the air quality in your home, often leading to respiratory issues. Plastics take up to 1,000 years to decompose, thus leaching these toxic chemicals in our water and soil for centuries to come. You wouldn't believe this. The average person consumes a credit card amount of microplastics every week, either through our water air, or food we're consuming. Reducing exposure is critical. Steps include reducing single-use plastics, choosing filtered water, and stay away from plastic packaged foods. Every small change adds up. I'm Dr. Clint, a licensed physician, and I'm not afraid to talk about controversial medical topics.